Hi, welcome to Advanced Varrows Analytics. Uh, this is the dashboard where you'll be able to see multiple KPIs. What you see in the top is more at the role level. And of course, we have a lot of other metrics uh, at the process level all put together. We have 105 KPIs. So uh, you can actually look at a multi varrows view, uh, drill down at each particular varrows and see either you want to look at by customer, by activity, or uh, whatever the business scenario you are looking forward. And further, you want to drill down further, you can get into an activity level and see how my activities are in the varrows. So this gives you a completely uh, go into the root cause. Similarly, you also can have uh, trends uh, from a target setting for the day and how my overall picking is happening. So if you see here, we're looking at a trend somewhere very close to the uh, reaching to the overall targets. And these targets are completely configurable. Similarly, you can also see the, uh, the entire uh, how things are happening in the varrows, whether my picking is consistent. This gives you a good story of whether my waves are continuously being released or uh, what time of the day is my the busiest time. Similarly, you have multiple other KPIs related to picking. Losses is a very important attribute to see what are the opportunities I have not been able to pick because of the inefficiency, uh, accuracy of the varrows, which tells me that my inventory accuracy is around close to 91%. And my loss sales, so that together it contributes one to your next amount of what if. While we look at the uh, management, even from a manager perspective, they also have two uh, targets so that it gives them a perspective of whether the vendor which uh, they are delivering at the warehouse, am I able to complete it so that it is available for picking. Similarly, he also has a visibility of what are my overdue DRs, any picking which has been released out of the wave and not been picked, an overdue of 24 and uh, similarly, where supervisor has its own set of things. So he is more into the operational on the ground, talking to multiple, uh, say, uh, uh, managing their resources in terms of which of my zones are very busy. How do I want to re, re, uh, re channel my resources to the right zone so that my things are done? Uh, of course, when a Varos is operating at multiple shifts, you have the capability to operate at a multi shift level as well. Interesting part is on the waves. So waves, uh, you can actually group your waves by channels, by customers. Example, in this case, any urgent orders, uh, your web uh, based because it could be an e-commerce one. And uh, any errors in the waves are also highlighted out here. And anything waves which has not been picked pure 24 hours definitely uh, requires a look for uh, the analysis basically. Now, uh, while we look at this, there are housekeepings. Example, uh, it's important that that uh, your GR area should be deconsisted and the stocks needs to be cleared as much as possible. So housekeeping is typically either a handover from one ship to another. The sec other thing should be at the end of the day. So in either of the cases, we should be able to monitor your condition. Same goes for your stock in GI area. So you pack in cartons, you want to ship it and see 382 cartons are still lying there. So this is very important. And there are other aspects to the labor physical inventory and labor management as well. So while it gives you an inventory accuracy by value, you can also have inventory accuracy by quantity as well. So uh, any variances in your uh, counting, that is your cycle count, will also post a recount document for your additional checks. So those can also be monitored out here. If you have your labor management activated in your current EWM system, you should be able to integrate your attendance and monitor your productivity. Safety tells me how uh, long my Varos was incident free. And uh, while your attendance enables you to tell you how many permanent and contract labels will be there in your warehouses. So uh, workload gives you a perspective of how the resource wise task completion is happening, how many tasks has been completed. So in absence of LM, you can go for a very basic uh, resource level monitoring as well. Uh, there are other areas from an yard management. Uh, it talks about your truck uh, check in to check out and which gives you a perspective of this. Queues is more of an IT stuff and it tells you how many uh, queues are stuck so that it requires intervention and really clearance to make sure that the goods have been posted so that uh, your subsequent uh, allegation runs or uh, uh, sale order picks are all uh, able to be handled. So all said and done uh, at the management level, you also have a ability to do an ABC analysis and re-slot how things can be uh, looked at your varos through ABC analysis. So this gives you a complete perspective in a Pareto chart, how this entire thing needs to be looked upon. So uh, on the x-axis, you see the, the number of products in your warehouse and the y-axis is more from 
any parameter you can give it could be cost it could be volume or anything else so uh, this is if you see here your 80 your uh, 346 uh, products constitutes to 80 percent of your whole business so that is an amazing way of looking at it uh, thank you